Okay, so we have here cadmium red medium right there and alizarin crimson. If you have cadmium red light, that would work too. And lots of white. So I'm going to do, I'm trying to do a, a pink, a light, light pink. Um, I know this, this is going to dry darker. And I'm going to start with the one up, up right here, round brush. And I'm going to try to get it. I'm, I, I, I don't really want to do exactly the same what I'm seeing in there, but I like a, a kind of a <laughs> suggestion. Okay. Okay. I know you're seeing right now, just plain like nothing uh, pink, but just give me one minute. I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm just placing them right now. I like the position of these flowers where they are. Some of them are around over, over dark areas, dark backgrounds, and some of them are over light. Smaller, smaller. Okay, nice. Now let's let's go a bit darker. I'm just bring in some reds in here, um, cadmium red and and uh, glycerin crimson, or just cadmium red medium would be fine. Change the. We don't want to put too much. Uh, too many of those pinks, the same color. Now, let's bring in a bit more of maybe a little in crimson in here. And let's add a couple of, couple of little ones here. They don't have to look like anything right now. Just add over the pink, the strong pink, just a couple of brush strokes of the dark pink as well, leaving some of the light pink showing through. Just to give it um, kind of a, an interesting look and depth. One color is flat. Okay. Same with this one here. Even if you dab, you just dab. If you look at the, uh, the actual reference, you'll see that these pink flowers, some of them have different shades of dark and yeah. light, dark and light. So, I'm not trying to do exactly the same. I'm just trying to get it to look like uh, 
um, not one one dimension, like not one. It, I'm trying to give it some depth and and movement. Okay, so this is see how it looks much nicer when you have light and dark. Um, it looks much more interesting. Okay, now another one here. Leo, can you go a bit closer? Can you zoom in a little bit? Not good. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And eventually, um, there will be some, I'll show you in a minute, you will see. Hold on, here. This is easier if I do it this way. Too red. drawing really, really dark. So I have to adjust it. To make it look more kind of, um, um, to see it better, um, I'm gonna take green, sap green. Let's um, take Sub green, add a touch of touch of yellow or even Naples yellow or just just sub green for now. Don't worry about the highlight, just sub green. And I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do this. And over here too. Um, right in here because that's the inside. and right here. Now take some yellow, maybe Naples yellow, wipe my brush. Oh, yeah. That's too light. I'll have to adjust my value in a minute. I'll, I'll do that. <clears throat> now anything over where the this part is the dark part we can use light green and then we'll have to adjust the value for the rest i like the way um these plants are overlapping the wildflowers. So there is one uh, coming up from here, right there, and that that is a 
a beautiful one that could be I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's beautiful. Eventually, I think I'm gonna put purple in here. The reason I'm working on showing these stems at this point is just because they are, these stems are over um, dark background. So it's nice to show them. adding a touch, very small amount of white over here to my green, the inside of the, to the inside of this flower right there. Actually in the, in that, yeah, it, it is green. Yeah. So now I have an idea how they kind of look like. I can go back. This one's it's okay. It's not that great, but it's okay. I'm using now sap green again and Naples yellow. And I'm just gonna add a couple of more stems in here. It's like, a, like a, a, a group of stems overlapping. The only thing is I don't like the way this is happening. This and this, it's like a V. Um, I'm, I would like to put this one here, this V, like that, overlapping here. I like this. And another one right there. Now the rest, we're just, we're just going to do them random. Just a bunch of um, stems, thin stems going in different directions. Add a bit of white to my green now. Tiny bit of white, just, just to change the, uh, oh, you can't see it. I can't even see that. All right, that's okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Did you, is that Nap uh, sap green and, and Naples? Naples yellow and sap green. And, yeah. and I added a bit of white in there as okay. well. And, I, you know, so like uh, the white tea you can see right now, it's a little bit highlighted more right. uh, just because of that 
white into Naples yellow and green. But when I go down to this part, I will add more white and then I will add greens, like green ones, light ones, dark ones in green, like different greens in here. But for now, because I can see it, because it's against dark, it's against the dark background, I can see that. Um, so I'm just kind of using uh, one, just sap green, Naples yellow and white at this point. I'm just going to put a cup of red ones here and then I'm going to stop. This is cadmium red light and alizarin crimson and actually it needs more white, it needs more white in here. Just a bit of white in this combination. I know some of these dots are not there, but I like to, to see those. Eventually, we're going to put some 
greens as well with yellows. So this is this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just adding more Naples yellow to my green. So I'm adding a bit of light colors. All right, so now um, I'm, I'm taking uh, pink, but it, cadmium red medium and, um, and white, but this pink is slightly darker. I'm gonna put a dot here, kind of a, and then a couple, let's float, let's put a couple floating, just in here and there. I know they're not in there, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Sorry, was that cadmium red medium and white? Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm adding more white, same color, but more white. Two more big ones here. It's only the big ones I'm paying attention where they are and how they look like. But other than that, the rest, um, it's gonna be like uh, freehand, free floating, nothing. I'm not following anything. It's interesting. Most of them are like, you see the backs of them. Yes. Of the flowers. You see this one I'm, I'm doing right now, that's the back of this. The yeah, back of it but then in front of it there's another one that's facing us i'm just gonna add a bit more white so i can see it i can see the one in the front although it's the other way around this one is lighter in the back and the one in the front is a bit darker And also, I mean, really, I'm not uh, trying to follow exactly the same shape. Whatever I get in here at this point, that's fine. Sometimes putting the center will help. It will help me see it. There, I can see it now. Take more white. And pink. And go around trying to define the one in the back so I can see the one in the front. So I'm gonna highlight the one in the back a bit more. This way I can see there. Red. Right. 
some things. All right, let's keep on going. This is more like on this line here. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna put some dots right here, some kind of movement of different pinks in here. Random, nothing specific. Again. <clears throat> you want those flowers to have different different sizes so some of them would be look like they're closer some of them further away um, some of them are bigger smaller um, Oh my gosh, I look away and you filled everything. No, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's still working. I'm just placing them and then I'll go back and, and adjust the colors and the highlights and I'm just placing them first to see where, how do, where they're going to go and how do, you know, how the shape how the shape, uh, I want the shape to be.
You want to go out? You see the, the tulips on Burnham Thorpe? Burnham Thorpe? No. Burnham Thorpe, um, in front of visual arts and all along Burnham Thorpe there. Beautiful. Mm. All colors, yellow, blue, I mean, uh, pink, you know, and they're very, they're grown very close together. So it's really beautiful. Wow. Take a drive along there. Mm. I'll have a look. Mm -hmm. Nice time of the year now. Yeah. Picking sap green right now, just sap green. If your sap green is not dark enough and you want it dark, you could add a bit of lizard in it. Now I'm going to add Naples yellow to my sap green. Oh, I can't see anything. More Naples yellow. The background here is light, so there's no depth. So we need to put leaves and, and texture and movement to cover the, the lack of depth in there.
it is just white, dots of white. I know they're not in there, but that helps. Uh, it helps um, with coverage of uh, creating um, a nice texture in here. This is sap green. I'm adding, I'm taking sap green, putting Naples yellow in it, and cadmium yellow light. Let's add some white as well into that mixture because it's uh, it's it, the, without white, it's just the colors blending in with the background. With white, it's just standing, it stands out. It's nice. Yeah, and it makes it thick and I like that. I like this thickness. You know what? I think I think this this kind of um, painting, if we thicken, like if we make the color the paint thick, it would look nicer. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, because of that whole palette knife component, right? Kind of like you know. Yeah. I, even now, I'm thinking I love this green and how it's sitting heavy, you know, on on the canvas. Okay, let's try. Sorry, white and red, and let's try to make it thick, like a thick color paint. Let's see.
what's the difference with what you're doing now? I'm just making the colors thicker. You know, the by paint. using white. The, yeah, the paint. The paint thicker. See, that's thick. You can, you, I, I mean, I, it could be thicker than this, but that's good. It's not bad. Not blending my colors too much, you know. When I'm when I add red, um, I'm keeping. I'm not uh, blending my colors where it's kind of become uh, too thin. Just putting thick layers. Oh my god, that's so cute! Look at that. It's so like a yes. kind of an abstract. Gives dimension. Yeah. Because it was blending with the background before. It was just going into the background and I can't couldn't see the flowers anymore. Look at this. That's heavy. That's awesome. Yes, absolutely, ladies, go for it. Go for the thicker, thicker, thicker kind of pasty. All right, let's do this part, this side. Well, this is fun. Thank you. 
you know, improvise a bit, add some, I'm adding flowers that are not there. For the yellows, what did you use, Leah? Uh, I haven't used, I haven't done the yellows yet. The yellow flowers? Yellow well, flowers. I, I see yellow on, on your screen. Are those, are those oh, okay. just leaves? Here? Sort of like on the left hand, yeah. Like, what is that? Like I see- These are- Leaves? Yes, leaves. Yes. So what did you use to do that? Is that green and Naples yellow? Uh, okay, so this is green, Naples yellow, and cadmium red light. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. What's the shape? I can't see the shape of those leaves. Shape of these? Yeah. What is that shape? I don't think they have a shape. Here, I'll show you what I did. Okay, thank you. Just, I'm gonna take some. I didn't do a specific shape. I was just kind of trying to add texture. So I was doing kind of like this. Okay, let me highlight it a little bit more. I'm going to add white to this. Add white, uh, uh, a stereo, if you want to see it, like if it's if it's disappearing too much with the background, add white. Oh, okay. So it's just dabbing. Yeah. I'm just and are, dabbing. They, are they like, are you doing, those are leaves, they're not the daisies. No, no, they're not the daisies. No. Okay, so you're just adding that green yeah, color. Kind of, yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, yellowy green color. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now I'm just dragging some of them down, like some same, same thing, but just drag it down. So you get different textures, different, different, um, um, not texture. Tones. Tones? No, um, shapes, different shapes. Oh, that looks beautiful, beautiful, Al. Wow. Cute, right? It's so cute. I mean, I love that. It's just kind so of, cute. and it's and it's a, uh, it's kind of fun because you're not following anything specific, yeah. except you know where the flowers are, a couple of them, the pink ones, and then the rest is just putting colored dots and um, shapes. Really pretty. I have to go, so I'll say thank you and goodbye. All right. You're welcome. Have a nice uh, rest of the week. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. This is this is uh, now red, just red. I'm gonna Which add red? white. Cadmium just... red medium. Cadmium red medium. Oh, okay. And white. I'm adding some of them, I'm adding white, some of it like, no, like, you know, just like thick dabs of cadmium, red medium uh, with some with white, some without.